Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Got a question here asked on LockerGnome.net. What are the advantages and disadvantages of using Google Chrome? We, of course, are referring to the web browser uh, from Google, known as Google Chrome, not to be confused with the Chromium project, upon which Google Chrome is built. Chromium also happens to be the foundation upon which the new version of Flock is built. And the new browser called RockMelt is built. RockMelt is a lot like what Flock hoped to be. And RockMelt, if you're asking my opinion at this point in time, meh. It's okay. I don't understand how they got funded, but it's another story entirely. Either way, uh, an advantage of Google Chrome. Well, the biggest one I see is they're constantly iterating. They're constantly releasing new versions. I mean, you don't have to worry, you know, if it's, it's going to uh, disappear into obscurity. Uh, let me try it again. Obscurity at some point in the near future. Google, their whole business model is the web. So they're trying to build the best web browser out there. Huge advantage. Google's not going to give up on this. Um... I can tell you I have not fully switched over to using Google Chrome as my primary browser. I do, however, uh, use Chromium Nightly Builds on, on my desktop, and I, and I like it. Uh, I could likely switch at some point to Google Chrome. I haven't done it yet. I, I, I don't really know what's keeping me other than really not being harmed by Safari in any capacity. Is Google Chrome faster than other browsers? It depends on what you're doing. Uh, as I said, though, Google is constantly releasing new versions of their software, constantly updating them. Uh, there's always a new beta version available, or seemingly always, um, you know, from Google if you want to run betas. As I said, I run a Chromium Nightly Build, so I don't have any of uh, uh, Google's accounts connected in any capacity if I don't want them to be in, you know, in terms of sending data to Google servers, as you may uh, have uh, within Google Chrome. So an advantage is you're always, you know, left with that feeling of you've got the latest. You've got the best they could possibly to deliver today. Uh, now, in terms of disadvantages, let's see here. It's, a, it's based on open source software. Um, it's not really costing you any money. It's fast. Uh, constantly being developed. No, they, they do have plugins, or as they call them, extensions. Does, does anybody have a disadvantage for Google Chrome other than possibly sending data to Google servers if you don't want to do that? And if you don't want to do that, I, I suggest running uh, Chromium, Chromium Nightly Build, certainly. I do that. Anybody? Really? Any Anything? Oh, crashes? Okay, well, yeah, but, uh, but other browsers crash. Yeah, no toolbars, but you can run extensions. I, I'm really struggling to think of a disadvantage. Um, if you don't like Google, don't run Google Chrome. But then again, you can run Chromium. Um, anything? Re c c can I get some help here? You guys keep posting things that are reasons why you'd want to run Google Chrome. The Flash player issue. Well, they, they've sandboxed Flash effectively, which would be good for Windows XP users, certainly. Flash issues. Well, you could always use the newest version of Flash. Of course, it's kind of a kind of a workaround. But then again, Flash. This is probably another video altogether. Is just uh, well, it's seen better days. Uh, I, I would rather uh, rub my face up against a rusty cheese grater uh, than I would want to run an application in Flash. That's just me. Not a disadvantage, though, to uh, Google Chrome. I don't know. I see advantages, but okay. I can't really think of a lot of really good disadvantages other than the, the data uh, sharing with Google. Uh, does anybody out there have any disadvantages at all to Google Chrome? Asking the chat room, and of course, I'm asking you as well.